Hello everybody and good evening. Oh boy. It is now midnight over by where I'm at. But I decided to get this out there because I was meant to do it last night, but uh I fell asleep instead. So I'm doing it tonight. It's very late. And it's going to be the final UFC show of the month. Um As usual. Don't know when I'll get back to doing this. Um, I started struggling with having ideas for more shows. So with this one, I try to make it as simple as possible. It's going to be the strongest fighters versus the weakest fighters. So someone with the highest overall stats versus someone with the lowest overall stats. And this is the best I could do. And I'm going to keep it a short show for a lot of real life reasons. So here we go. Let's get into it. Conor McGregor versus Brian Ortega. Poor Ortega has the lowest overall stats uh, in the featherweight division. Which doesn't seem right to me, but oh well. So let's go. As always, any background noise you hear is because I'm streaming natively from my PS4. No corner, baby. CPU versus CPU in hard mode. Let's go. Kind of ruins the atmosphere a little bit when there's no commentary or music but what can you do I don't want to get in trouble wow at this point he was 11 and 0 I guess the only man to almost finish Alexander Volkanovsky in the UFC If not for Jose Aldo, you can make the argument that Connor is the greatest featherweight fighter. Maybe ever? But he also jumped around a lot. I mean, he... He's rated as the... He has the overall highest stats in the game. It definitely has the highest striking stat in the whole game at 99 or something crazy. Five nine one forty five fighting at Dublin, Ireland. Connor McGregor. I miss the Ortega one. I'm sorry. Always happens. Like I'll be looking at my PC instead of then miss the actual miss the actual um, announcements. Where 
This bump. A little one two from Otega. Ooh. Oh, body kick by McGregor. Oh. What an uppercut by Ortega. And every time they get close to each other, they're hitting each other with something. Oh, Ortega going for a clinch. Oh, Ortega, listen to the coach, hitting him with a knee to the body. Kicking Connor in the side. Oh. Oh, and a kick to the face and an elbow by Connor and Ortega just falls <laughs> face first. Oh, and head kick by Ortega. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Some nasty body work by Connor, but Ortega is keeping up with him. Striking here. Oh, Muay Thai clinch. Knees to the leg, knee to the body. Another knee to the body by Connor. Another knee to the body. Ortega's trying to break out of it. He does. A little dirty boxing in the clinch here. Connor moving back into the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, Ortega's trying to get out of it. He does. Oh, a left by Ortega. What oh, a head kick by Connor. Body shot by Ortega. They're just hitting each other at the same time now. Wow. Oh, and a side kick to the body by Connor. What a combination by Ortega. Like I said before, he's having to get close. They hit each other with something. Oh, what a bicycle kick by Connor. Oh. Block takedown, knee to the body of Connor. He's rocked. Ortega's trying to go for the kill here. Ortega going for a takedown, and he gets it. Ortega, a submission specialist for sure. Oh, he gets the mount. Going to side control. Ortega all over Connor, no matter where Connor's trying to go. Oh, but Connor getting Ortega's back. There's a shot. There's another shot, but that's blocked. Ortega rolls out into his own guard. Ortega now getting McGregor's back. Ortega getting Connor's back with the hooks in. He's going for a choke. Oh my goodness, he's going for a choke, but Connor gets out of it. Ortega flattening out Connor. What's he gonna do here? Connor moving. Still has Ortega on top of him. Ortega moves to side control. Let's go. Let's take this round. Ortega moving to mount. There was an elbow, doesn't quite get it though. Connor's trying to kick Ortega off, but not happening. Ortega's still standing in the mount. Thirty-five seconds left. Oh, and a shot by Ortega. Both trying to figure out what to do next. Connor is looking to reverse Ortega, and he does. Still staying in Ortega's guard, letting Ortega get Connor's back. Ortega. Pushing him down for a full mount. 10 seconds left in the first round. What an elbow by Ortega. Five seconds left. Man, 
that's definitely Ortega's round there. Combination by Connor. A combination by Ortega. Ooh. Oh, what a kick to the face by Ortega! Rocket Connor hits him with a head kick! Oh, he missed that one. Body kick by Connor. Oh, what a combination by Connor. Almost finished it there. Missed that body kick just by a little bit. Oh, what a head kick by Connor. Ooh. Oh, what a spinning kick to the body by Connor. Oh, more body shots by Connor. Meanwhile, Ortega is still headhunting. Locked up in the clinch. Let's see who's gonna do what over here. Ortega getting the Muay Thai clinch. Knee to the body. Hook to the body. Still stuck in this clinch. Muay Thai clinch by Connor. Knee to the body. And they break off. Oh, and a right by Connor. Oh, wow. A dodge followed by a left by Connor. Connor's winning these striking exchanges. Ortega might want to get out of this. Oh, and Connor's going for a takedown. So he's a wrestler now. And Ortega immediately counters him. <laughs> immediately reverses him and gets the mount. Oh. oh, Ortega grabbing an arm. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's about to grab the arm. Oh, and Connor pulls his arm out. Ortega throwing a little bit of ground and pound here. McGregor rolls, but Ortega still got his back. Oh no. Ortega could do something from behind here. What's he gonna do now? Transitions into a mount. Throws an elbow. Throws a shot. Throws an elbow. And another elbow. He's trying to break through Connor's guard here. Connor's trying to push him off, but Ortega's still still there. Oh, what a punch. Oh, and another shot! McGregor holding on, trying to reverse him again, and not getting it. Ortega still on top. Oh, and an elbow by Ortega, and another elbow by Ortega, and another shot. He's really going for this ground and pound here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Brian Ortega just knocked out Conor McGregor on the ground! Oh my god! <laughs> what a surprise that was! Wow! Wow! Oh my goodness! And Ortega has like the lowest striking stat in the whole division, if I'm not mistaken. And he knocks out Conor McGregor while in the mount. Wow! That was unexpected.
Next fight is... Oh god, I forgot this guy's name. Aubin Mercer or something versus uh, Rafael Dos Anjos. This guy has the lowest not only like overall stats but like everything is like the weakest I barely know who the guy is and I don't think he really lasted much in the UFC it's a surprise he's in the game at all honestly Oh, uh, what's his name? Olivier. Olivier Albin. Okay, Albin. He's still fighting to this day. That's crazy to me. He currently fights for the PFL at 33 years old. Oh, he was young when he was in the UFC, wasn't he? What are you doing in the UFC? What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fights in the UFC. He was seven and five in the UFC. Not a horrible record, but <laughs> nothing to write home about. He's mostly a decision fighter, though. Eee. Alright, you ready? You ready? Let's go fight, guys. Oh, Dos Anjos hitting him with the combination to start. And yes, I completely missed the intros. Oopsie daisy. Not a lot happening here. There's these two guys trying to feel each other out. Figure out what they want to do next. Oh! Take down attempt by Aubin Mercier. Oh god, I don't want to say his name. Gets a takedown though. Holds down Dos Anjos, and Dos Anjos tried getting out of the way, but he can't. I gotta check something really quickly. I think it's Olivier. Well, well, 
Doesn't matter. Dos Anjos has his back. Let's see where it goes from here. Oh, going for a choke. See if he... Oh! Sanjo's going for the ground and pound. Really nailing him. Might have heard a YouTube video. Ignore that. <laughs> Sanjo's got his back. Olivier tried to get out of it. Not happening. Del Sanjo's still all over him. It seems like it's pronounced Olivier. That was right. Anyway, Los Anjos got the top game on him. Gets up. It's for Olivier to follow him. Oh, what a kick to the face! Oh, and a shot by Los Anjos and a block takedown. Goes for a spin kick and a kick to the face. Oh, this poor Olivier kid has no idea what's hitting him right now. Oh, he gets a good one in though. Oh, wow. He's getting some good shots in on Dos Anjos. But Dos... Oh. Dos Anjos trying to hit hard. Hit back hard. Oh. Olivier. Going for it back. Back suplex-ish. Takedown. Oh. Dos Anjos going for Kimura that Olivier gets out of. Olivier gets the mount. Will we see a repeat? Will we see a repeat where the weakest striker wins over the strongest one? Oh, grab an arm bar. Going for a triangle arm bar. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's going for it. Oh, Dos Anjos gets out of it though. Throws an elbow. Oh my God. Less than 45 seconds left in this round. And another elbow. 40 seconds left in the first round and another shot. He's going for ground and pound. He's going for another elbow. What on earth is happening tonight? 30 seconds left. Ooh. Oh, and another elbow. We got 20 seconds left. Oh, and it throws another elbow. But Dos Anjos. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. It's getting scary for Dos Anjos. There's 10 seconds left in the first round. Olivier trying for something and getting pretty darn close to it, too, as the round ends. A little distracted by something, I'm sorry. It was just announced that Brandon Moreno versus Davison Figueredo is the for, it's gonna happen for the fourth time. He's 
stuck in the clinch for now. Let's see who's gonna do what with it. Olivier gets his back, doesn't matter. Oh, oh my goodness, what a judo throw. Slamming him right into the ground. Olivier keeping Dos Anjos down now. Whoa. Oh, Dos Anjos is rolling. To his guard. Pulls Olivier right to his back. And he's going for an arm bar from this position. Oh, he doesn't get it though. Olivier smartly blocks it. And twists out. Still in Dos Anjos' guard though. Oh. oh, that was really weird, but still in half guard. Full mount, going for an arm. Let's see what's Olivia gonna do here? Gets a part of it. Cassandra just gets out. Oh. God, Olivia's throwing those elbows with force. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Olivia. Wow, those are some nasty shots from the top of Dos Anjos' back. Hitting his arm down now. What's he gonna. Oh, side control anyway. What's gonna happen here? Dos Anjos gotta get his way out of this. Olivia, looking at him. Throwing some shots. Trying to loosen up Dos Anjos. Gage in there and throws a nasty elbow! Oh, and another nasty elbow! I can't believe Dos Anjos has to get out of this position because this is looking ugly for him. Getting his arm pinned down again. Olivier holding him down. Coach calling for elbows. Oh, and he gets one! North south position. What's gonna happen here? Back to side control. Half guard. Olivia doesn't care. Gets full mount. Moves over back into half guard. Oh, throws an elbow! Oh my god! And Dos Anjos trying to stand up from this position and he rolls over and gets on top of Olivier. Oh, Dos Santos is moving. But Olivia is standing up on a kick to the face. He goes for a takedown and gets stuffed. Oh. Oh, oh wow, what a right. Oh, what a knee to the body by Dos Santos. 35 seconds left here in the second round. Oh, single leg. Lifts him up, slams him down. Dos Anjos on top of Olivia here now. Oh. Gets his back. Putting the hooks in. Waiting patiently. There's 10 seconds left. Not much to do from here. Olivia ends this round on top. What a surprise this fight turned out to be.
Oh, I need to the body by Dos Anjos. Body shot. Oh, straight jab by Olivier. Oh. Shot. Oh my god. Oh, uppercut for Olivier. Oh. Muay Thai cleanse for Dos Anjos, but Olivier gets out of it. Dos Anjos pulling him down. Oh, doesn't get anywhere with it though. Still tied up in the clinch here. Oh, oh man, they're just kneeing each other while in this clinch. Who's gonna do what next? Oh, and Olivier with the, the judo throw to the ground. Pinning his arm down. There's a shot. Oh my god. If the pace keeps up like this, this could go to a decision, which I definitely was not expecting. Whoa. Oh, and a knee to the body by Olivier. Oh. A shot. Dosan just has got to get out of this, because this is not looking good for him. Coach really excited for that single punch. Ooh. He just keeps pinning the arm down. What an elbow! Cross the eye. Oh my goodness. And another elbow! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! No way! Are you kidding me? Olivier! Albin Mercier! I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry. Just knocked out Rafael Dos Anjos on the ground! We're two for two where the weaker fighter wins the fight by knockout on the ground! That's insane! This happened in the third round, too! Oh my god! Goodness! Wow! Just knocked him out and added a punch for good measure. That's insane. This show is already starting off in a completely ridiculous manner. <laughs> Round three. Here we go, everybody. Former UFC fighter CM Punk versus UFC legend George St. Pierre. Oh, Punk went from one of my favorites to being an absolute garbage human. Recently got into a stupid ass backstage thing with a bunch of the dudes in AEW and, uh,. Really killed a lot of goodwill that he had left. Damn. So here's hoping GSP kills him! Welterweight legend, somewhat of a middleweight legend too, retired after winning the belt, I believe. 
please God, I hope he destroys Punk in this, for Christ's sakes. Former pro wrestler, quote unquote, good conditioning, says they'll take the UFC by storm. Yeah, he sure did by losing a decision in his first fight to an utter nobody and then getting his ass whipped in his second fight in like less than a minute or something like that. What a tough guy. Five eleven, one seventy, funny out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Saint Pierre. And this guy, 6'2", 170, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, CM Punk. Yes, GSP, please God, knock out Punk, for Christ's sakes. He's got like an overall sco score of like 82 or something stupid. He literally has the lowest stats in all the UFC game. It's really funny. What the fuck am I looking at right here? George, kill him, what are you doing? Oh my fucking god, are you serious? <laughs> Thank god. Hit him. Hit him like two times. Knock him out. I'm hella biased tonight with this fight. I don't care. What do you mean CM Punk is out wrestling George St. Pierre? What the fuck is happening? Yeah, work! Come on! Get his ass! Oh, what a takedown by George! That was really cool! Oh, what an elbow to the head by George! What's up? Back to side control. Mount. Let's go. George keeping it in place. Throws an elbow. Please. <laughs> Trying to break through his guard here. Somehow Punk is still alive. We got. Oh, what a kick to the body. Another kick to the body. Got three minutes left left in this. What do you mean CM Punk just back suplex George St. Pierre? What the fuck am I watching right now? Oh, thank God. Really not trying to see Punk in any form of dominant position in this fight. 
Please kill him. What? Thank you. Hit him with an elbow. Please hit him with another one. Please. Oh, what an elbow by George. But Punk is going for a triangle choke? Are you kidding me? Get out of here with that. Take down by George. Minute and a half left. This is a minute and 25 seconds too long. What do you mean Punk is his back? What do you mean he's getting the mount? What do you mean he's throwing an elbow? What the fuck is happening on this show? Minute and 10 seconds left with CM Punk on top of George St. Pierre. What in the fuck is wrong with this game right now? Minute left. Counter. 55 seconds left in the first round. I'm not even going to call it like a normal fight. What an elbow by George. I'm not even going to call it like a normal fight. I want George St. Pierre to win this one. Seconds left. What the fuck? Hit him with an uppercut. You're, you're telling me Punk is taking down George St. Pierre with 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. This game is some bullshit. What am I looking at right here? George, please. Superman punch his ass. Please, God. Don't don't blow yourself up, but just like try to hit him and do something. I, I don't really want to see this again, but okay, cool. It's a nice takedown. Uh-oh. George softening him up with small shots. Nothing happening here. George at least gets side control, but Punk rolls over. George is trying to get something out of this. Didn't get nothing. Somehow. Elbow. Do something. Do something. Fuck. Punk stands up out of there. Come on, man. 
Destroy him! What the fuck? I'm not saying nothing, I'm just watching this because I'm begging to god that George finishes this. Less than three minutes in the fight. What the hell? Come on, man. Why am I watching this? What is happening right now? What? What? What's happening? What? Why does it look like CM Punk is like about to finish George St. Pierre? What? What? What's happening right now? Can Can somebody explain this to me? We got about two minutes left. We're in the second round. Oh, thank God. This is a hell of a camera angle. By George flattening out Punk. Getting the mount now. Oh, when he gets up. Stop going for takedowns. You can end this on the feet. Oh my god, what a back heel kick by George St. Pierre. Knocking down CM Punk. Almost tried to finish him there. Punk still has it though. Off the top of my head, I can't think of a single fight that won, that was won by uh Standing strike. Near armbar attempt by Punk there. Oh my god! Off the cage! Superman punch! Let's go! Ah. George. GSP is trying here. Oh, and a head kick by Punk. Goes for a takedown, 25 seconds left. I don't think anything's gonna happen. 15 seconds left. Not much is gonna happen here. Beautiful back kick. Unfortunately, it did not win the fight. Would have been cool if it did. Oh, Punk not returning the fist bump? Destroy him! <laughs> George hitting him with something hard there, but... Punk is also still in this for some reason. Four and a half minutes left. Here he goes for a takedown again. Little bit of ground fighting here. C 
see if it's going to amount to anything. I cannot believe this fight has gone on as long as it has. This is crazy. George going for something. An Americana. Probably not gonna get it. And anywhere get doesn't get anywhere close. George hitting him with small shots, but they look like they matter. Oh! Wow! That was anticlimactic, but finally, George St. Pierre TKO CM Punk on the ground. Even though it looked like Punk blocked every single one of those shots, but. Oh! See? Uh, may maybe not. <laughs> Punch him right through the guard, and the ref saw enough. Finally, holy shit. Alright, so we just got three fights left. Heck of a show. Three out of three finishes. And three out of three fights have gone to finishes. Thank God. I believe the guy's name is Ildemar Alcantara. Really gonna be a short show. Only still under an hour as of right now. I don't even understand why this Alcantara guy is even in the game. He had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fights in the UFC. It looks like he was four and three. I don't. Okay. And he's got the lowest. I think he's got the lowest stats in both middleweight and light heavyweight.
He's, he's fighting the, the greatest middleweight in this game, Luke Rockhold. Sorry. One day my, I'm gonna have a mic set up where it's either gonna be a capture card thing or I'm gonna just gonna have a mic off button. Rockhold's gonna probably kill this guy. <laughs> the fact that Alcantara is getting anything in at all is a surprise. Ooh, and a takedown by Rockhold. Rockhold's looking to do some ground and pound here. Oh. Surprised the Alcantara is keeping him in place. Oh, what a shot to the body. Another shot to the body. Rockhold's using that to try to move out of this half guard, but still being kept in place. Alcantara reverse Rockhold, but Rockhold nearly gets his back. Going for a rear naked choke. Doesn't get it. But Rockhold's still fighting for. Oh! Alcantara! Ooh! Alcantara getting side control. Keeping Rockhold down. Rockhold's trying to push him away. Rockhold. Rockhold's trying to move out of here and he just can't get it. Now he's getting mounted. Whoa, what a reversal by Rockhold. <sighs> Rockhold stands up. Two minutes left. Combination goes for a takedown and gets one by Alcantara. Rockhold ends up on top anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Nasty combinations here. Oh, wow. And a takedown by Rockhold. Minute five seconds left. Alcantara is getting his back. Less than a minute left. What's he gonna do from over here? Get them out apparently. Rockhold rolls him over. 40 seconds left.
20 seconds left. Not much to say here. Not a lot happening. 10 seconds left. Oh, oh wow, and he actually gets the reversal. And that's the end of that round. nasty shots here given by both of these guys oh what a head kick and a body kick and an uppercut right into the clint brock hold got him in muay thai hold oh a knee to the head and a jumping kick to the face alcantara was rocked there for a minute Oh, and an uppercut and a head kick by Alcantara! Well, Rockhold is rocked! And he gets a jumping knee! Oh, and a head kick by Rockhold rocking Alcantara! Oh my god! Wow! Hell of a way for this round to start! These guys just rocking each other with some nasty heavy shots! <laughs> Now trading holds in the clinch. Heard the coach call for a single leg takedown. Ah, and Rock Cold goes for a takedown and gets it. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffles. Three minutes left in this second round. Push clinch up against the cage. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a suplex! A belly to belly suplex by Alcantara bringing Rockhold down. Rockhold grabbing Alcantara's back. And keeping him there. Oh, throws a shot to the head, keeping him in place. Oh, Rockhold follows him with the roll. A heavy USA chance for Rockhold. Sorry if everybody could hear that. Rockhold going for an arm. Ah, Hawkeye not letting him. Have it. Brilliant. Rockhold throwing a good shot while on top of the mount. Oh, and an elbow, and another elbow, and another elbow by Rockhold. I can't believe Alcantara is still in this thing. Those are nasty. Rockhold following him onto his back, still on the mount. Minute, about a minute left. 
Rockhold trying to punch through the guard. He's getting some shots in, and there's an elbow, and another elbow, and the ref, the ref stops it. Luke Rockhold with ground and bound TKO in the second round. Ooh, that was, ugh, ugh. Through the guard and everything, like, he wasn't even, that wasn't even really a guard. He just kind of had his arms up and hoped anything would block it. This show is flying by. We've only got two fights left. Corey Anderson versus John Jones. As Corey Anderson said, there's levels to this. Six four two zero five fighting of Endicott, New York. John and the Embarrassment Jones. Six three two out of five fighting with Robbinsville, New Jersey, Corey Anderson. Are right, you ready? You ready? Let's go. 
Here we go! Immediate side body kick by Jones. Oh. Let's go, Jones Chance. Jones PC or Anderson up already and goes for a takedown against the cage. <clears throat> the Anderson reverses it. Not doing a whole lot here. Oh, Anderson nailing him with an elbow, cutting open John Jones's eye. What the fuck? What's Anderson gonna do next? He's actually beating up John Jones on the ground here. Oh, what an elbow! North South, but he's going for a choke. He's going for a North South choke. Jones gets out of it, but Anderson's still on top. Anderson getting Jones's back. Uh-oh, Jones, Jones is going for Kimura. Anderson gets out of it, though. Jones getting Anderson's back. Gets the mount. Oh! Some nasty shots raining down from the mount by Jones here. Two and a half minutes left. Oh, what an elbow by Jones! Oh my god! Two minutes, ten seconds left. Nasty elbow. He's got him pinned! Still in side control. Anderson's trying to work his way out of it. There's two minutes left. Jones keeping an arm pin and holding the other one. Side control. Ooh. Anderson, oh, an elbow by Jones. Anderson's just trapped underneath Jones here. <laughs> Minute 10 seconds left in the first round. Jones. Rolls him down and throws a shot in immediately. Henderson cannot do a damn thing with Jones on top of him. <clears throat> Again, start, sorry for the sniffling. Jones going for an Americana with 35 seconds left. Oh, this is not looking good. There's less than 30 seconds left. Oh, and Anderson rolls Jones over and gets the side control with 20 seconds left. Jones. They stand back up, but with 10 seconds left, not much gonna happen here. 
But Jones slams him down with like, two seconds left. Unbelievable. A lot of movement and a lot of single shots here. What a head kick by Anderson. Ooh. Jab stunned Anderson there for a second. But oh, what a spinning body kick by Jones. And a Superman punch. Right into a clinch. Jones holding on to Anderson. Goes to get his back. Jones jumping on top for a rear naked choke, bringing him down. Oh my goodness. Could this be it? This could be it already. This could be it already. And it is! John Jones chokes out Corey Anderson in the start of the second round. Unbelievable. Ooh, he really had the deep end there. Just, just went behind him, jumped on his back, and pulled him down with ease. Very brutal rear naked choke here. Your winner by submission. John Jones! Hooray! Minute 15 seconds in round number two. And now it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Fabricio Verdun versus Gabriel Gonzaga. I was actually surprised Gonzaga had what appears to be the lowest uh, overall stats in all the heavyweights. Uh, considering he had actually been really good at one point in his career. So I was surprised they gave him jack shit. Oh, they did fight each other too. UFC 80, January 19th, 2008. Verdu won by TKO. Oh, he fought him twice! No! Lost to him both times in the same way. TKO punches. That's crazy. Fought him for once in 2003 and then again in 2008.
That's crazy. <laughs> oh wow, nobody talks about the rematch he had with Crow Cop where he was TKO'd by him. Everybody remembers the Gonzaga uh, head kick KO of Crow Cop. Wow. Oh, 17 wins, 12 losses. 10 of the, 10 of his loss by knockout. Ugh. Had a five, one, two, three, four, four win streak. Lost to Randy Couture, Fabricio Verdum. One, two, lost to Shane Carwin. Man, like he was a gatekeeper. Aside from Crow Cop, he beat everybody that wouldn't be doing anything and then lost to the top guys. Here we go, baby. Main event time between these two heavyweights. Fight is scheduled for five rounds. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Fighting out of the blue corner. Waiting at 6'4". Um, oh my god. Six foot six. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Six foot four, 239 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Fabricio Verdum. Very professional. And in the red corner, he stands six foot two, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of Ludlow. Massachusetts, USA, Gabriel Gonzaga. Respectful fist bump to start things off. Not sure Gonzaga should be starting this fight off by taunting Rare Doom, but Rare Doom's not gonna let it bother him. <laughs> Knee to the body. Just kick to the body. Another punch to the body, but Gonzaga getting his own combo in. Me to the body. Again, Gonzaga taunting their doom. Not sure that's a smart idea. But their doom being very patient with what he wants to do here. Gonzaga throws a head kick, but doesn't do much of their doom. Gonzaga headhunting while Verdum is very cautious and careful with the way how he's throwing his shots. Verdum gets... Wow, went for a takedown and got blocked. Oh, and a fucking front kick to the face. Uh-oh. But Gonzaga's getting hits at, his hits in too. Gonzaga, or for a single leg, brings down Verdum. Verdum is a very scary submission expert. But Gonzaga gets the mount anyway. With 3 minutes and 20 seconds left, Verdum reverses him. Oh man, Gonzaga is trying to get out of this and Verdum's just not letting him, except for over here. Gonzaga getting Verdum's back. 
but Verdum very easily twists out of it, gets into Gonzaga's guard. Gonzaga's really got to get out of this position. It's not going to look good for him the longer he stays here. He does not want to be on the ground with Verdum. And Verdum gets the mouth. Oh, he tried to go for an arm, but Gonzaga moved. Oh, Gonzaga's going for a triangle. Verdum out of it immediately. Gonzaga grabbing Verdun's back again. <sighs> Gonzaga again getting Verdun's back. But he's not able to do much with it. Win the scramble, win the scramble. Two minutes left. Gonzaga's got the mount. He's throwing, he's throwing an elbow. Oh my god. He hit him with two elbows. Verdum trying to reverse out of it, but can't quite get it. Gonzaga posturing up in the mount. I know one of these men is trying to do something here. Gun oh, Verdum rolls over. Ooh. Oh, Verd oh, what a shot from the mount with Verdum. Or by Verdum and an elbow! Again, Ver Verdum is being very careful with his shots here. Minute 15 seconds. Verdum flattening out Gonzaga. Going for... Nothing, but gets it to the half guard. An elbow drop! Uh, elbow drop, oh my god. An elbow strike! Gonzaga's trying to push Verdum off, but Verdum ain't having it. Throws the shot in. Thirty-five seconds left. Thirty seconds left. They're standing up, but stuck in the clinch against the cage. With only 20 seconds left. Oh, wow. Double jab and an uppercut. And wow, a right hand by Gonzaga. we got 10 seconds left. Gonzaga gets dropped there. I'm not entirely sure from what, but he just fell down. They're doom ruining him with body shots. Can't let those build up because this gonna mean something later on. Oh my god, what a knee by Verdum! Verdum just beating up Gonzaga's body. And a leg kick! And a forward kick to the body. And a knee to the body. But Gonzaga fights through it, gets a takedown.
Not much happening here, but Gonzaga does have the mount. Oh, he throws some shots in. He's throwing some shots in. Oh, man. He should have continued that. He might have won with TKO there. There's a lot of time left for these two. And we're still only in the second round. Wow, and a rollover reversal by Verdun. Doom just beating up Gonzaga. Oh, what an elbow! Still a lot of time. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. Oh, shot to the body. Doom is just beating up Gonzaga's body like crazy tonight. Two and a half minutes left. Unfortunately, with this game, the referee does not stand up uh, non-fighting on the ground, as we found out the hard way. Minute 50 seconds left. Not a lot happening here. Very, very, just very small movements and very, very small strikes. Oh, uh oh, Verdum going for a triangle choke, but doesn't get anywhere close. Minute left. They're doomed. <laughs> oh my god. A lot of ground fighting between these two tonight. 45 seconds left in the second round. I don't see anything happening here. They're doomed grabbing Gonzaga's back, but. With. 30 seconds left? I doubt anything's gonna come out of this one. Yup. Oh, what an elbow by Verdum! And another elbow! And another elbow! Can Verdum keep up the momentum? Here, throws a shot! Throws another elbow! How, how, is, how is Gabriel Gonzaga still in this? Those are nasty! Those were nasty shots! That was amazing. I cannot believe that Gonzaga survived that. Round three with Gonzaga versus their doom here. Some vicious striking starting this one off. Oh, oh my god! Gonzaga has their doom rocked! What a nasty combo followed by a head kick! We're ending with the head kick. 
but he couldn't follow up on it. And Verdum is still standing. Verdum's got to be careful now because Gonzaga could take him out. Verdum, oh my god, Verdum went for a takedown, but Gonzaga caught him with a guillotine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, and Verdum flips out of it and gets into a north-south position. Gonzaga's got to find his way out of this one. This is not looking good. Gonzaga trying to stand up, and he does! They're in the clinch over by the cage. Push him against the cage. Oh, Gonzaga with the trip down. But they're doomed. Getting Gonzaga's back. Three minutes left in the third round. Doom with a reversal. Again, not a lot happening here. I don't mean to be quiet, but not much is happening. Verdum's trying to make something happen, though. Wow, what a reversal by Gonzaga. Verdum trying to get up, but Gonzaga's keeping him down. Gets the mount. Half guard. Coach is screaming for a scramble. Side control for Gonzaga. North-south position. Back to side control. Into the mount. Gets his back. Throws a back, uh, back fist. Bring it down, Verdum. Gonzaga is trying to go for something here. But he can't quite make anything happen. But he does have the mount. Uh oh. Verdum reverses it. Man and a half left in the third round. Oh. Ooh. Oh, an elbow to the body. He's just attacking his body. Blocking. Oh, what a head kick by Gonzaga. The front kick to the body by Verdum. We got 40 seconds left. Oh, what an uppercut by Gonzaga. 30 seconds left. Gonzaga's stunning Verdum in the stand up here. Head kick by Gonzaga. And another head kick by Gonzaga. Gonzaga doing some very good head hunting here. We got 10 seconds left. Knee to the body. Takedown by Verdum to end the round. <sighs> Again, sorry for the sniffles. I don't know why this is happening. My room is very humid and gross, I guess.
reached championship rounds in this heavyweight fight. This is crazy. Despite their stat, uh, despite how different their stats are, a very even matchup. This whole fight. Fun stand up here. Nothing hitting too hard, but hitting hard enough. Oh. oh, what a kick to the body. Oh, and Gonzaga shoots for a takedown, and Verdun catches him with the guillotine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Verdun does it. Fabrizio Verdum is your winner via guillotine in the fourth round. <laughs> All it takes is one takedown that could change your whole night. Oh man. Big mistake on Gabriel Gonzaga's part to shoot for a takedown. Verdum catching his head, choking him out, forcing him to tap in the early in the fourth round what a fight and what a night here is your winner by submission Fabricio Verdun hooray Minute and five seconds to the first round. That's crazy. And that is it for tonight, everybody. And that's going to be it for UFC 2 being streamed for a while. I just wanted to get this out there during this month because I figured it would be a lot of fun to do commentary for it. And uh, it was. It was a ton of fun, despite me not feeling so well. So, with that said, uh, as always... Follow me over on Twitter at GamingLeo90 and follow me here at RagingLeo to know when I go live. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.